my grandfather and his brother Oswald, my grandfather's name was Clemens, um, they came up with the original Double J brand in uh, 1929. Their goal was to kind of set up a cattle ranch there in South Austin. We had, they had 75 acres there, and you know, 1929 was kind of a kind of a rough year. Uh, later that year was the start of the Great Depression. Since then, you know, there's there's been everybody in the family at some point has owned cattle. My father had raised um, registered Charlet cattle, and um, you know, sold them and, and had them here just to kind of keep the tax exemption for the property. And um, as he has, you know, started to get older, um, I became interested in, in starting my own herd. So I uh, liquidated the, the herd of Charlet cattle and um, uh, decided to go with a, a more efficient breed. So we chose the uh, American Aberdeen, uh, which is our, our uh, smaller framed cattle. Um, usually you know hang around 400 to 450 pounds uh, on the hook so you know probably roughly half the size of a standard uh, just normal you know commercial Angus and uh, we're up to uh, 29 head right now and um, we've already butchered our first uh, few head of steers we're trying to create something that's uh, sustainable using uh, you know, local byproduct from breweries and distilleries, and our our focus not only was the sustainability and the um, you know the green factor, I guess, of of the herd, what, but also was to create you know a really superior beef product. Um, you know, most of the grain that we get is either um, local here from Texas, um, or you know some of it's even uh, imported from Germany and England. So it's it's you know, human food grade grain. So it's super high quality grain um, and we want to be able to transition that into a super high quality beef product. So that's kind of our main focus is, is definitely uh, beef. We see you coming in the company soon Fired up to steal our money Pray God you got something to lose It's never gonna be enough How they ever gonna find us The shipwreck on the mountain Rubbing and all the outlaws It's who we wanna be Belly up and just fake it And two-step overrated So we can hope to be someone So all of our, our cattle are, are fed and finished on beer and bourbon grain that we get from local uh, breweries and distilleries. Uh, right now we're picking up from uh, Treaty Oak Distillery, um, Acapon Brewery, uh, Twisted X Brewery. Uh, we get a lot of grain from them. So, um, you know, everybody in the community is, has really kind of drawn to, to what we're trying to do here and the, and the sustainability factor of it all. Um, so, you know, our goal is to create a you know, superior beef, you know, based off of, um, you know, byproduct that we have in the area. We don't have a lot of grass, but, you know, we've got a lot of fantastic breweries and distilleries in the area. So we've tried to, you know, just utilize what we have and, and try to stay, stay local and still create a superior product. The main thing that we were wanting to focus with as well is, you know, there's nothing better than sitting down and, and having a uh, fantastic local craft beer um, but wouldn't it be great to have a wonderful crafted, you know, cut of beef and be able to pair that, you know, with a local beer or a local uh, bourbon and, you know, if it grows together, it goes together. You know, that's kind of our, our philosophy on, um, you know, the beef and with these local distilleries and breweries is, you know, you should be able to sit down and, and kind of have a piece of Texas when you show up. Ryan Jens, I'm the operations manager here at the Double J Ranch in Driftwood, Texas. <laughs>